Michigan man on death row for 20 years will likely remain there for the foreseeable future. At least that's what his attorney is telling us tonight. Michigan hasn't had the death penalty since 1846. But we told you when the U.S. Department of Justice recently reinstated the death penalty, leaving a convicted murderer from Michigan facing the possibility of execution. Well, Martin Dieters is here with how the case may or may not end in an execution chamber. The news that the federal government may be resuming executions was met with consternation by civil libertarians, but with hope by the father of one of the alleged victims. I don't really f go along with the death penalty that much, but I feel, you know, you should pay for what you've done, especially something as heinous and horrible as that he did. Marvin Gabrion has spent more than 20 years in federal prison, convicted of the 1996 drowning of 19-year-old Rachel Timmerman on federal land in Nuego County. He is also believed to be responsible for the disappearance and presumed homicide of her 11-year-old daughter, Shannon Verhaeg. And while his 2002 federal court conviction called for capital punishment, Michigan's historic opposition to the death penalty has helped keep him from paying the ultimate price. We don't have the death penalty here by choice. It's not a matter of defaulting to no death penalty. This state has chosen not to have the death penalty. And so as a practical matter, it must impact what's going to occur. Gabrion is in the early stages of a second appeal request, claiming his constitutional rights were violated. The courts could hear from both the defense and the U.S. Attorney's Office, and then the case could go on to the U.S. Supreme Court, and then request for commutation. I think it's going to be at, at least a couple of years before that particular proceeding runs its course. Uh, so I don't think there will be any immediate impact on Mr. Gabrion. Tracy Brame is a former federal defender who leads death penalty seminars at Cooley Law, Western Michigan University, as an associate dean. She says the U.S. is moving slowly toward joining the rest of the civilized world in abolishing the death penalty. There are parts of the country in where it's, it's still going strong. Um, so I don't know where it's gonna, going to go nationally. I think it might depend on who's in the White House. However long this takes and whatever the outcome, we'll keep you up to date here and at woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.